Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy II. Today, I'm finally going to complete my quest to get the Forbidden Spell, Ultima. So, let's do it! Okay, um, don't worry about those floors there. We'll be able to walk across them just fine. Yeah, most of these hallways lead to just empty rooms, so we're going to walk to the top, because there's a treasure chest there that I, I want to get. Okay, and this chest contains the flare spell, but it has monsters inside, so I'm going to take care of them and be right back. Okay, that chest just contained a devil flower and a uh, goddess, but um, I'm not going to use the flare book, because really, I mean, by this point in the game, Berserk is so good that you really have no use to start working on a new spell like flare for extra damage, so I'm not worried about it at all. Now, uh, that door that we see here, uh, that's the one we want to take to the next floor, so let's go there. And another empty room. By the way, uh, there's an enemy that I haven't bothered to uh, demonstrate uh, because the battle takes a while, but it's a new enemy. Well, not a new enemy. You can meet them in, around Mysidia, too, but it's called Imp. Uh, they're very good to uh, use change against if you need to refill uh, Furion's MP. Uh, the, really th the thing that makes them deadly and hard to uh, beat sometimes is that they can cast Charm 16 on your entire party. Now, fortunately, the gold hair, the gold pin... Um, makes you immune to, uh, I think it's mind elemental effects, or whatever it is, um, whatever confusion is, whatever elemental that is. So, Aphirion and Guy will be immune to them, but Maria and Richard will almost certainly be hit by them, but it's a good way of gaining HP when your party members start hitting each other, so that's a nice little tactic there, so let's get going then. Okay, there's a few more chests here, but that's the last of it. And we get an egg timer. They had egg timers back then? You're kidding me. Well, actually, what it does is you use it in battle and it casts stop on your enemies or whatever, but I never bother using it, so let's just keep going. There's the next chest. And it contains a crucifix that cures the curse status ailment, but... I don't think I've been cursed once in this game, or maybe once, but so few enemies use it against you, I'm not worried about it. Oh, I love multi-targeted instant death spells, like life against undead. Oh, it makes life easier. Okay, and this chest contains the black robe, finally, for Maria. But it contains a monster! Which is a boss fight. Oh, I love this music. <laughs> they actually have boss music for an NES game. I mean, I just think that's so cool. <laughs> okay, so we want to use the Blood Sword, and I've already taken the liberty of removing uh, Firion and Maria's equipment there. Probably just Minion Toad will do it, but... Oh, we get a first strike. He's not even going to put up a decent fight. How could we get a first strike against him? I mean, shouldn't he be the one surprising us? Ha ha ha! We turned a dragon into a toad. I still get a kick out of that. <laughs> okay, so let's find out which one of those doors takes us to the next floor. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good, but I want to take a moment to get something set up here, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and uh, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, the black robe, which I equipped on Maria, uh, that also um, protects against, uh, oh, what is it? Or, not protects, it, um, it increases her intelligence by 10 there, so that's pretty useful there. And uh, I, I believe I was mistaken about the gold pen. Now, that doesn't protect against confusion, because Maria had one, I forgot about that, so... I don't know why uh, Furion and Guy are the only ones who aren't getting hit by it. I think, well, I know the Spiral Helmet protects against it. That must be it. And uh, I guess the White Robe or something. I'll look it up later. But those are the only two that aren't getting hit by Charm for whatever reason. So with that, let's move on. I'm a soul man. 
I like Min. He's the man. He's got soul. He's got the theme music. He's got a cool ass turban. He's awesome. But how'd he get here? Okay, enough of the theme music. <laughs> and he's gonna focus all of his power on this door. Why are you gonna do that? No, Min. Oh man. What a bonehead. But at least he got to keep his soul. Well, you'll have to play Soul of Rebirth to understand that clip. <laughs> okay, so we've reached the Tower of Mysidia, and... Let's see, there's five lights. There are four lights! What? Four lights! No, I'm pretty sure there's five. Four lights! Okay, okay, there's four lights, okay. Man, what a nut job. But anyway, um, for those who don't know, the outer four orbs will increase uh, a particular stat appropriately. So um, I'm just going to demonstrate that. This, let's see, increases your agility. This one increases your power. This one increases someone's soul. And this one increases someone's intelligence. The problem is that it's random. So... Um, it's going to hit one of your party members randomly, so, like, Firion could gain intelligence, which is stupid. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to use save states to make sure the appropriate person gets the appropriate stat gain. So, um, yeah, it's cheap, I know, but I'd rather them get it than someone else get it that doesn't need it. I think that's just kind of stupid. So, I'm going to take care of that and be right back. Okay, we're back, and I've done the appropriate stat gains. Uh, Fury and Soul actually went over 99, oddly enough, but there you go. That's really going to help his mini spell uh, out. And, uh, yeah, Maria, I got the intelligence for her because she really needed it. So I, I just think that's the way to go. So there's one last orb we have to inspect. Grant us magic. Okay. Yay! We get the Ultima spell after going through five areas for this fetch quest. Our reward is a bugged spell! That's right, folks. In this version of the game, Ultima is bugged. Now, from what I've heard, the way it's supposed to work is that its power is de derived from all of your spell and weapon levels. Um, spell slots that are empty or weapons that are not trained contribute nothing to the power of Ultima. So, in order to make use of it, you'd have to spend hours grinding away at things you'd never use. I mean, I mean, I suppose a bug spell is better than that, but I mean, why not make Ultima actually useful? Why couldn't they just do like, you know, Enix did with the Sphere of Light in Dragon Warrior 3? You know, make the spell imperative to defeating the final boss. Yeah, I mean, even if it's just a stupid storyline spell. But no! They had to make it useless, because Berserk is a million times more useful, even if Ultima worked properly. So, I don't like it. So, anyway, now we have Ultima. I'm not going to use it. So, let's head back to Finn and figure out what we got to do to defeat the Emperor. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, the enemies are going to be a little tougher here. I wonder why. Let's head this way. Gotta head this way to sort of find out. Uh-oh! What happened to Altea? Better take another look. I mean, take a look around, that is. <laughs> Wonder why all the enemies are stronger around here, too. This can't be good. And Gatea has been destroyed, too. Uh-oh. I hope Finn's okay. Yeah, they're doing alright. And there's a tornado up in the upper right corner there. Hmm. I wonder what's going on. Let's talk to these people and see. Oh, Poft was also destroyed too. And the Emperor's Whirlwind? Hmm. How did he get a Whirlwind on his side? Oh, his magic. Okay. Wow, that makes sense. Can't enter the Whirlwind? Well, yeah, that would be pretty hard. He's inside the Whirlwind! You're kidding me, right? Let's see, uh, yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that. Okay, let's move along here. Okay, these guys say nothing new. Let's see, how are we going to stop the Emperor and his whirlwind? Maybe Ultima will help. No. Oh, and Layla's alive. Huh. Ship capsized, couldn't find us, and that's all.
Okay, the Emperor conjured a whirlwind. But it's just kind of standing there right now. He's hiding in the eye of the whirlwind. Okay, um, let's see. And, let's see, in the past we used the light of the pendant to call the dragoon and hear you. Hmm. We'll have to find out what that means soon enough. We have Ultima. It's hopeless. Because it's a bug spell! Okay, it would be possible to enter unless we could fly. Hmm. Maybe if we could get the hear you to help us out. Well, we'll have to find out what, what we can do next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.